There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, this is a good one. Got him. This is probably the biggest one of the day. See you, dude. What is going on, everyone? So I have a goal for today to do something that I honestly haven't done. I checked, I haven't posted a video doing this in over three months, which might be a new record for me. And that's trying to use some cut bait. So last time I did the video was using the Z-Man and I actually cut out a lot of footage because I saw a lot of fish at a couple different spots, a lot of red fish, and I could not get them to eat the, the Z-Man right here. But I know for a fact that I also got a crap ton of ladyfish on this flat that I also didn't show in the video. So what I'm planning to do is start today throwing this Z-Man, see if I can load up on some ladyfish and use that as cut bait and go back to these other spots and see if I can get some redfish because some of these fish were pushing at least 30 inches long. And I'm gonna go step by step to show you exactly the gear I'm using and everything that I'm doing to try and catch some of these fish. But the first thing we gotta do is try and catch some ladyfish for bait. So I'm gonna be using this Z-Man Minnow Z right here that I used in the last video on a quarter ounce jig head. And I got about a foot and a half section of 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm gonna be using my Pen Battle 3 2500 with 10 pound braid my St. Croix Avidan Short 7 foot light action rod. This is the only setup I brought today. So I'm gonna be using this for cut bait later too. There's a couple of different baits that you could use for cut bait. You could use ladyfish like I'm trying to do right now. That works really well. Mullet work really well if you could get them in a cast net. Uh, I've used big thread fins before. Pinfish, obviously, that's a, another classic of mine. Oh, I got hit there. Oh, I got him. Lady. No! That was a ladyfish. Dang it. Get back over there. There's one. Yep, that's a ladyfish. Come on. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. And we need you for bait. It's been a it's been a struggle trying to find you. Stay down. Stay down. Yeah, that's exactly how today's gonna go, isn't it? That's hilarious. All right, we're on them though. There's one. Another lady. Okay. We're gonna get some of these in the boat. Stay down. There we go. It's a small one, but he'll work. Come in the live well. Perfect. Pooped all over me. I'm gonna try and get a couple of them. Got him. Come on over here, Mr. Ladyfish. Stay down. Don't jump. You don't have to, you don't have to try and shake yourself off. No, stay on. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. Get it. Perfect. So the other one should have gone. You know, if I was really being like pressed for time and like I need to like get these lady fish for the boat, then obviously like a mirror dean with like treble hooks and stuff would probably be the best. But this is just fun. There's one. That, that's a better one, I think. That's a better ladyfish. Stay down. Keep your rod tip down. That usually keeps them from jumping. And as I said, he's still jumping. Come on over here. In the boat. Ladyfish are just such a messy fish. They poop, they bleed, they puke. All right, let's get one more. There's one. Yeah, now it's ever cast. There we go. Poor lady fish should be enough. All right. Let's go see if we get reds. All right, I just rigged up. Got a 3-0 circle look right here. I've never tried these circle looks before. The must add ultra points. I'm giving them a shot. It's a 3-0, I got a little split shot right above the hook to keep it down on the bottom in this wind and current and everything that's going on. 
And let's take one of these ladyfish. Let's see this guy since he's not looking too hot. Bring him over to the cutting board. All right, I'll make quick work of him right quick. There we go. Got some uh, chunks of ladyfish right here. Gonna take this guy. Right over here. Gonna hook him right through the skin. So the point's barely hanging out right there. I'm gonna cast it up here by this oyster bar where all these mold are popping, and there should be some redfish. Stack up right by the oyster bar, right with the mullet. Cast it over there. Bail open, finger on the line right here. Just waiting for a bite. As soon as one starts going, give it a little bit of line, let them eat it, then reel down. Again, I'm using 25 pound leader. Same setup I was using to catch the, the ladyfish. But now we're seeing if we can get some big reds. This is one of the techniques that you could cast it out and put in a rod holder then have a, a lure working while you're doing that. I've done that many times in past videos. That works really well. Got a red. Cast it over in the school and mullet over there and then put in the rod holder. And a red picked it up. I have no idea how big he is. Not a bad one. Right over there in the school of mullet. Oh, that's not a bad one at all. It's just not really fighting too much. Put in the rod holder, start checking my phone. I hear a couple clicks of drag. I'm like, huh? And I look over and the rod's like bent over. Not a bad one at all. Okay. Out on the flat, not even by the oyster bar, just hanging out with the mullet. Hey, dude. That was a pretty redfish. Probably mid 20s. Uncut ladyfish. Beautiful redfish. I'm going 24 on him. He's a 23 inch red. Come on. There you go. See you, dude. He was bleeding a little bit, but he's all good to go. Awesome. Let's get another bait. That worked perfectly. This bait wasn't over there for two minutes. I just casted it over there and turned the GoPro off and put it on the rod holder. So let's get another one over there. Right now, I'm just watching this bow in my line of the slack that I have out and just kind of keeping an eye on that. Once I see that either get very slack or start pulling tight, then I'll know that there's a fish messing with it. There we go, one's got it. Got him, got him. The reds are stacked over there with a the mullet. I just saw my line start going out. Come on over here. I'll loosen my drag after the last one. Yeah, they're just stacked up with a mullet apparently. How big are you? A little bit smaller. Yeah, like a little 18. There we go. Another redfish on the ladyfish. I haven't done a cut bait video in a while. I miss doing this. You're feisty. No, my cut bait. Good thing we have enough. Nice little redfish right there. Probably 18 inches. Let's get the hook out of you. Yeah, they're over there. Beautiful fish. See you, dude. Go. There you go. Get another piece. They must just be cruising this flat with the mullet. Seeing if they kick up any shrimp or anything, they kind of school up with the mullet. Uh, obviously they eat the little finger mullet too but when these bigger mullet are pushing around they often disturb little pinfish and uh shrimp in the grass so these red fish kind of pick them up after them oh there we go oh that's a fish oh i missed them how right over there try that All 
I already got one. Got him. That's a good one too. That's a good one. Okay, that was right in the school mullet. As soon as it hit the bottom, really. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Come on over here. They're loving the cup bait today out of the flat. Yeah, that's a good red. Eh, maybe not upper. Probably like 24, 25. But as soon as I got it where I wanted it to be, this guy ate. That's so sick. Right? Oh, he's barely hooked. He might pop off. Got him. Oh, he just rehooked himself a little bit better there. That's a solid redfish. Here we go. Pretty fish right there. Going 24. There. Nope, just another 23. These are healthy fish. I thought you were a lot bigger. Another 23 inch redfish on the cup bait right there. I know there's some bigger fish around, so we're gonna keep throwing some baits out. This guy ate pretty much immediately, so that's a good sign. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. Get the release on this guy. That's such a picture perfect redfish. A little blue in their tail. Uh, one spot on each side. The bright orange fins. Whenever you're ready. There we go, see you dude. All right, just moved a little bit. So I'm better oriented on this flat. Fresh piece of cup bait. A lot of mullet activity. Let's get it over there. Right in the school. Perfect. There's one. Got him. Got him. That didn't take too long. That did not take too long at all. Is he bigger than I think? He's trying to fight. Oh, another solid one. Probably around that 23, 24 inch mark again. Look at him on the bottom. Come on up. Another solid red. This is sick. Another probably 23 inch fish. They're all cookie cutters, but I'll take it. They're fun. Oh, he's a little shorter. He's 20, 21 and a half. Fourth red of the day, this one's 21 and a half. Just gonna keep going, see if we can get a bigger one. This is so much fun. Great technique, especially if you're just starting out with fishing. Just get some cut bait, throw it up by some mullet, by some oyster bar, stuff like that. You'll pick up some red fish if they're in the area, but let's get a release on this guy. See you, dude. Get another one over there. Wore the wrong shirt for today. I got my Stook shirt on. Oh, there we go. One's got it. Got him. Got him this time. There we go. Another one. Again, does not feel bad. There's so many reds up there right now. How big are you? Oh, another one. Mid to low 20s. Come on. I think it's just kind of wrapped around his gill or something so it makes him feel bigger. There we go. Come on over here, dude. Oh! Pulled the hook right there. See you, dude. Try to show him off to the camera right quick and ended up losing him, but I touched the leader, had him out of the water for a little bit. I count that as number five. Just little chunks of ladyfish like this. Hooking them right there, right through the skin. And this is not taking more than three minutes to get a bite over here in these mullets.
There's one. Got him. Another one over there. Okay. Okay, why do you feel huge? There we go. Thing goes wrapped around his gill like the other one. This guy's just not stopping. He's going all the way over here now. How big are you? This is probably the biggest one of the day. Just with how he's fighting. I haven't really seen him. Oh yeah, that's a solid one. Come on. That's a thick redfish. These are all super healthy fish. Look at how pretty this one is. Oh, he pulled the hook too. Freaking slingshot. What's going on with this hook? Trying out these hooks for the first time. These last two fish have pulled right here. My drag's not super tight either. Huh. I'll see you, dude. These fish are hungry right now. Oh, there's a bite. He's got it. Got him. There's another one. That was probably, I'll check the footage, maybe a minute and a half before I got bit. There we go. This is just sick. They're just stacked up up there. Doesn't take much effort. Just a cast it out and let it sit on the bottom. And I love it. Okay. Okay. I see you. I try and save my bait. That's a solid one. I've been saying that about each one of these, but this guy's pretty decent. Solid red. Whoa! See ya, dude. I have to have one just non-graceful release each video. Oh, there's one. Got him. There's one over there. Oh, he's doing headstands. Moved a little bit more to the right with that cast. Hit a different school of mole, it looks like, and this guy picked it up. Is this number, well, I have the two pop off. If we're counting those, I think this is like eight, seven or eight. Another beautiful redfish. Probably around 19, 20 inches. Right there. Get the hook out of you. Beautiful little redfish right there. See you, dude. This might be the best redfish bite using cut bait that I've been on outside of like mangroves ever. There's one. Got another one. Got another redfish over there. That's a big boil. That might be a bigger one. That might be a bigger one. Cup bait is working. That might be the biggest fish of the day. That is a solid red. Come on over here. I like your spots, dude. Oh, that egret scaring them all. That is a solid one. That's clearly the biggest one of the day. 
25. 25 inch redfish. Biggest redfish of the day so far, 25 incher. All of these coming on cup bait right up here by these uh, mullet on this flat. And this is like every minute, two minutes, I'm getting bit. So I'm glad I got enough bait. I'm just gonna keep fishing until they stop. This is unreal. Get a release on this guy. See you, dude. Come on, come on another one. I was trying to take thumbnail pics. I had the bait out and it just started taking a little bit of drag. Let's get him up here. Yeah, not a big one, but he's loaded with spots. It's a cool looking one. Hey, little guy. Pretty red fish, three spots and then four on that side. Get a quick release on this fish. There we go, I think that was number nine. Let's try and get double digits. Going for number 10 now. This has just been a fun day of fishing. Coming out here and it's been a super easy day. Uh, honestly, the hardest part of the day was trying to catch the lady fish in the morning, but once I found them, loaded up on a couple of those, came out here, and the redfish started playing pretty quickly. And obviously I could be throwing lures and trying to get them on other tactics, but this is just such an effective way and I love doing this kind of fishing. It's just fun. Got one. There we go. There is one. Kind of cast it over there to a new spot. One ate it pretty much immediately. I think if I get this in, this would be number 10 on the day. That's including the two that popped off right next to the boat. Well, that is so sick. Come here, just run right to the boat. Another one around that low 20s mark. Cute little redfish. See you, dude. There's one. Got him. This is just so much fun. He felt the crap out of it. Got a jet ski tour going by me right now too. Don't mind that at all. Oh, that's a good one. Where are you going? Oh, another low 20s. I can save my bait. No, come here, I want my bait back. Got him, and I got my bait. There we go. Pretty fish right there. Quick release on him. See you, dude. Let's see if we can get another one on the same bait. There's one. Oh, this is unreal. Oh my God, this is sick. How big are you? Good boil. Yeah, another one. Probably mid 20s on this one. This is just so sick to come out here and just absolutely have a day like this. One of the best days of redfish fishing I've had in a while. Look at that guy. Yeah, that's a solid one. That might be the new biggest one of the day. Yeah, that's a solid fish actually. Uh, another 24. 24 inch. Let me get them in the sun. 24 inch redfish right there. That is such a beautiful fish. I tried to go get my phone and 
get a little Instagram story. And he flopped and <laughs> ran in the water. All right, let's get another one. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, this is a good one. This is gonna be the biggest one of the day. Probably the best one of the day. He is loaded with spots. He looks like a freaking leopard. Come on over here. That first run was sick. I don't even think you're the biggest one of the day at all. But you are a cool looking red. Come on up. Around the corner of the mouth. Come here. Look at the spots on this redfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on this side. One, two, three, I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that side. 17 spots on this redfish. Right there, 23. But that is a cool looking 23. Look at the spots on this redfish. You got 10 on the side, I'm showing you right there. Then you got seven more on this side. This is one of the coolest looking redfish I've caught in a while. And I'm honestly, at this point, lost count of how many we've caught. This is such a sick day. See you, dude. Got one on my last piece of bait. Doesn't feel big. If I cast it over here to this other school of mullet that's over here. I mean, not a bad one. Is that a trout? Or is that a red? I think that's a that's a big trout that this pelican is trying to eat. That is a big trout. Come on over here. I didn't think that pelican was actually gonna try and get that. Get this trout. This is a big trout on a cut bait. Hey! Right there. That is a big trout. Right there. 20 incher. 20 inch trout to end the day on. That is sick. See you, dude.